What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about a game called Vampire Survivors. Now this is a little 2D retro game that's on, available on Steam right now. It's in early access. And the awesome thing about this game is, first of all, it is absolutely fun as hell. And it's only $3 at the moment. And this game has over 2,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. And it just came out. So what this game is, is basically it's a roguelike game and you have different games that are bullet hells but in this game the difference is you are the bullet hell and you can choose from one of eight different characters uh, these different characters have different perks like some get more experience some have more projectiles some have more damage all sorts of different things like that and right now there's only two different levels available and basically how the gameplay works is you start out very weak you may only shoot like one weapon at a time and then through each game which roughly consists of about 25 minutes you are able to uh progress up to you know level 80 or even above that and at every level you get about three different choices of different weapons or different uh you know skills that you can have and you can have three act or excuse me you can have six active skills and six passive skills so the active skills are of course you know shooting fireballs shooting lightning areas of damage uh, you know, protection shields around you, all this different kind of stuff like that. And then the passive abilities accent those. So you may have projectiles that are, uh, excuse me, have more damage. The effects last longer, all these sorts of different things. And the nice thing is that when you have an active and a passive skill, if you select the correct ones, then you're basically, it's going to turn that active, uh, skill into basically a super active skill so the damage is going to be way more it's like having a special and at this moment you can have as many different specials as you want you just have to choose the right active and passive skills and this game gets a little bit intense the enemies that they throw at you get more and more and you're dodging things all the time and then ultimately you become strong enough to just you know stand in place and absolutely kill everything that's coming for you but it's it's pretty difficult right now there's only two available levels and i have to say the second level is a lot easier than the first level and the way that this game is a uh, roguelite is that each time you do a run, you gain gold. And you can also gain gold from killing these little bosses that peri periodically show up throughout each map. And once you kill those, then you get a chest. And each ch chest has, you know, one up to five different available options for you to upgrade your skills and that's another thing about this game each time you get a level once you've picked all your active and passive skills then you're just going to be leveling up each of your individual traits and most of them can get up to level eight and then after that have a special some don't have specials yet it's kind of confusing remember the game is in early access right now so i think things are in flux at the moment but they are super fun it is super fun and then once you get uh those chests and you can also have different pickups where you can receive gold and then all that gold you can use to purchase uh, you know abilities to make the game a lot easier and i i have to admit i've been playing this game a ton i'm absolutely loving it i've reached the end of both maps basically what happens at the end is you kill all the enemies and then death comes for you and for right now it basically just kills you at the end there is no final boss hopefully they'll change that in the future but right now there's no final boss and like i said before the game is absolutely super fun i would definitely suggest going out and picking up this game it's only three dollars it's in early access right now on steam uh, overwhelmingly positive reviews and I've just been having an absolute blast with it.
And I hope that helps you guys in choosing whether you would want this game or not. And uh, if you can, just uh, leave me a comment and a like. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.